Hi everybody and welcome back to another Landlord Lowdown. No, I'm not in my office, this is not my new office. This is a gorgeous home and look at this for a view in the mornings. Absolutely stunning without a shadow of a doubt. So it just shows you don't have to just buy cheap properties to rent out. Some of the more exclusive ones can give an amazing return as well. Uh, this property is going out £2,500 a month. Found a professional couple uh, wanting to rent it. Absolutely superb, can't wait to get them moved in. I've just popped in today just to check something on the snagging list with a developer, I'm just gonna report back to them. But something that came across my email this morning um, is Labour's manifesto has been released. Look at it in detail. Um, some great ideas in there, definitely without a doubt. Some good focus on the housing market. Um, waiting to catch up on the Conservative one as well and the Lib Dem one. A um, couple of points from the Labour one that's already been picked up by um, some sort of my fellow industry professionals are things like talking about um, uh, sort of more building on the brownfield sites and so forth, which I think is good. Reuse the land, definitely. Speed the process up though. And they're talking about bringing back in the Supposedly like the help to buy schemes of um, reducing deposit amounts and so forth. But quite rightly, as somebody pointed out for first time buyers, it's more about the actual affordability um, on the mortgage itself. So what will the mortgage company actually loan a first time buyer? I think we need to take a sort of, a, I suppose, a, a leaf out of some of our um, sort of foreign um, country um, fellow uh, property sort of industry experts where they're uh, and the mortgage companies where you get longer term mortgages you get better borrowing rates um, and that I think for me is it for first time buyers it's not a case of um, can't afford to pay the mortgage because a lot of time <laughs> mortgages are less than the rent sometimes um, but it's actually getting the borrowing power to buy that house um, so it'd be interesting to see how that comes out, but Labour still pushing forward with the renters reform. So um, looking at the abolition of the section 21, which I know a lot of landlords have been talking to me about. Um, something else will be there at some point, no doubt, um, but it's just trying to kind of just, I suppose, kick to the curb the unruly landlords that just decide they want to kick a tenant out for a silly reason. Um, just gives a bit more security for tenants. And yeah, we, we look at it from both sides of the fence, but don't worry. Any news, any updates in relation to the renters' reform, anything that's coming out of pre-election, post-election, we'll keep you posted as much as we can. And if you've got any thoughts, ping them over to me. Quite happy to chat. I always love learning from other people. Um, I'm certainly not the oracle when it comes to all of this, um, particularly on the political side. But yeah, I won't be dragged into the debate of who am I going to uh, vote for. However, as always, if you have any questions, drop me a message. I'll see you next week. Take care.